Hey Chan Physics, uh, just going through the unit four study guide with you guys. Um, just want to explain a couple things. Some of these are pretty clear. So um, certainly uh, we got um, all magnets have poles. Um, like will repel, opposites attract. Um, describe the strength of the magnet. Um, so if you increase the current, you're going to increase the strength of the magnetic field. Um, and then a Tesla. So, and then we should remember this, so north to south, so the magnetic fields go north to south. Um, we've got uh, what's the following of, of a natural magnet. Um, and so it has to be a metal. Um, and then we know that iron, but then there's other ones that don't really work very well. So iron was the one. Uh, what happens if you break a magnet in half, of course, right? One magnet becomes two magnets, a north and south and a north and south. You can keep going. It's just going to keep happening, okay? Um, so here we have this north to south, and this is a, 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 an attractive force. So that's that. And then we had, remember, the domain. So if we melt a, me a metal and we put a magnetic field like here and here, right? So that we're pulling to the north or whatever, and then let it um, solidify that we'll have all of these little domains will all line up, therefore making a permanent magnet. But if we don't put that magnetic field, we take that away, then it's just going to be haphazard or just going to be random. And so there will not be a magnet. And so that's how we do that. All right. Um, these ones are, again, these are the same kind of uh, problems that we've talked about when we say, what if we change something? So we write down the original equation and then we write down what they did. So this one I think is uh, they, they double the current. And so the only thing that's different between this equation and this equation is the two. So this is gonna double the force. And then the same thing here when they triple the magnetic field. Well, the only thing that's different between this original equation and this one is that three. So there's gonna be three times the force. So it'll be triple, okay? Um, these ones just ask you to use the right-hand rule. And so if, sorry about this, just got to look. If current is going down, take my right hand, put my thumb down, my hand wraps around this way so that we get this. And then this one, the current is going this way. So I take my right hand, put my thumb, my fingers are wrapping this way. And so the current is going to come over the top of the wire and then back down. Okay. Um, here they're asking us, uh, magnetic, magnetic field as you move further away from, remember we said the further away from anything, um, the force of gravity or anything like that, everything's going to decrease, right? So if we move further away, we're going to decrease it. All right, this one's a little bit difficult because what they're telling us is that the magnetic field is going from this way to this way. And so what we first have to do is say, okay, I know that the magnetic field goes from north to south. So I put the north and the south there. So the magnetic field's going north to south. And so in the right-hand rule, if my thumb presses points towards the, the north um, pole of an electromagnet or a, a solenoid, that then the current must be going this way, right? And so we have the current going this way. And so that's that one. And then the same thing's happening here. The current is coming up like this. We take our right-hand rule, go like this. Our thumb points in the north, okay? Um, these ones right here, we've got the um, current going to the right, and we've got the magnetic field going straight up. And so take our right-hand rule, our thumb goes in the direction of the current, our fingers go in the direction, of, and then our palm presses in the direction of the force. So the force is coming out of the page. And here, the current is coming out. This was one of the harder ones to do. So the current is coming out of the page, and the magnetic field is going that way. And so we just basically take our, our right hand and we go thumb, here's the field. And so the, the um, magnetic field is pushing up, okay? And that's the first page. And then the second page, we've got some problems. And so the test is pretty good on, on these problems. And so well, you can see the four column um, rule or the four column method being used in all of these. We write down what we know, we write down the equation we substitute and then we solve, okay? And some of us are taking uh, some uh, shortcuts when it comes to this. Remember, once you've got um, the first problem, always, you know, the, all the numbers are on one side, put it in our calculator, everything works out really well. But then of course the next ones are not gonna be that easy. So the force is given to us, but something over here is missing. 
and so we have to take our time, do our algebra correctly to get the variable by itself. Okay. One of the things we saw was that if the current flows in the same direction as the magnetic field, there'll be no force. All right, and then you've got this one was asking um, which one is correct, I think is right, and the, this one is that one right there. Um, so some of these things is, is the Earth's magnetic north, it's geographic north. And remember, this is something that we said is kind of unique, is that the Earth is sitting like this. Our compasses point to the north, right? And so our north needle should point at a south pole, <coughs> which is true. The Earth's magnetic um, magnetic north pole is in, over here on the bottom, but its geographic north pole is on the top. And so they are different, right? So the magnetic north is the same as a geographic south and the same as opposites. So they're opposites, okay? Um, how does a compass work? Well, because opposites attract, so because the magnetic pole is here up on the top, the, the magnetic magnet of the compass will point the north point will point towards the south pole of the magnet, but that's what we call the geographic north. So things are kind of iffy there, but just know that magnetic north is geographic south and geographic south is magnetic north, okay? Um, and then it says, using your own words, define electromagnetic induction. And so we said, remember we said, if we take a magnet and we move it through coils like we did in the FET, we can induce current. Or if we can have the magnet stay steady, but we move the coil around, that too creates the motion that we need to induce um, um, magnetism, I mean, um, electric current, okay? Um, here we have these two ideas, right, that a generator will take mechanical, meaning like motion, and turn it into electrical energy. And then when it comes to our houses and we need to turn a motor, then the electricity is used to turn that back into mechanical to run a fan or something like that. All right. Um, these are um, these ideas of here. Is what's a um, transformer? Remember, we had pictures of transformers. They're just um, like cubes of um, metal. On this side, there's a couple coils. On this side, there could be a couple more coils. And therefore, we can either step up the voltage or step down the voltage, depending on how many coils are in each side. And that's necessary, remember we said, because when we create electricity and we want to transfer it, we want to transfer it at really high voltages so we don't lose a lot of it. So we step it up to high voltages. And then when we get really close to our houses, we don't need 100,000 volts. We need 220 volts. We step it down to bring it back, okay? Um, these ones are the three ideas on how to change or how to make the uh, magnetic um, solenoids more powerful. We either increase the current, increase the number of spins or coils, or we put an iron core into it. Okay. Um, what's the other one? How can you create electric current? Well, we move the magnet right, right there, and then it asks us um, how, is, how are auroras formed, and so... Uh, my class, we may have to look at this before the test, but um, the sun is creating a whole bunch of radiation that's being jettisoned towards out towards it. Um, when it gets towards the Earth, the Earth's magnetic fields right push it either up or down, saving us from all that radiation. But because all that radiation goes above the Earth or below the Earth, right when we see that 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 energy, we see that as the uh, northern lights or the Aurora Borealis, okay? So that solar wind gets split and get pushed up through the north or the south, and that's when we see that. A um, couple more questions that you guys might want to think about. Um, where does magnetism, magnetism come from? It comes from moving electrical charge, okay? And it's anywhere in the idea of a permanent magnet. Those moving electrical charges are all aligned, so that creates a permanent magnet. But then in the solenoid, because we have electrical charge going through around the wire, that creates a magnet. And then when we have just a wire carrying current, we have a magnetic field around it. That creates, because there's moving electrical charge. So when charges move, they create magnetism. And that's the great invention 
because then magnetism can create current. All right. Um, hopefully that helps you. Um, I will see you all on Friday if you have me. Otherwise, uh, good luck on the test. Bye-bye.